Hey everybody, this is Eric with LobocompServices.com and today we're going to continue our PHP lessons, lesson number three. And this could be a two-part lesson, but we're talking about working with text and numbers in PHP. You can see the example that I'm going to show you in the video. And you can get the code at LobocompServices.com, link down in the description box below. So first off, we're talking about echo and print. Echo and print. Echo executes a bit faster. Okay, fundamentally, and you just just in the big picture, go with echo instead of print. I know I've used print just to show you what it does in the paths, but here's a uh, here's a brief description of what it does. Okay, if you want to get really analytical about it, check out the link in the description below. Uh, in nearly every case, go ahead and use Echo. Well, in every case, use Echo unless there's something that I'm missing, but I never use print actually. So, uh, you can go ahead and use Echo and be, be pretty much safe. Unless for the rare circumstance where you'll actually need print. But, uh, probably not. Next, Escape String. The quotes or apostrophes and the strings can hinder your processing. Use the forward slash key to escape the following character. The the forward slash says the next character is literal. So like if you were to actually there are some sequel func sub sequel functions PHP functions to insert a value in a MySQL database like MySQL a real escape string. But here is what you'll kind of an example of what you'll be doing if you look at it in Notepad plus plus like a this for example on your screen echo and then double quotes and then you want to put a like a quote inside of your double quotes well uh two having two quotes together is not going to be a, it's going to be confusing to the to notepad and to the php interpreter so comment a slide make a slash escape it out by using the four slash and then a quote. It just says that, okay, the next, we're going to make it literal. Uh, then, then we have a literal. So this is not the whole variable, but it's like a par portion of the variable. So what do you think? He said to the barber. Again, leave your questions down in the description box below if you have any. String length is important. We want to verify whether you want to use it in validation you want to use it in your yeah it, it's pretty much used in validation uh or so operations we have uh add the str len function take the examples from lobocompservices.com link in the description below so this checks the length of your password the length of your password is len you can put this, uh, what's nice about PHP, and especially these echoes, and having the double quotes here, is that uh, we don't need to concatenate a variable outside of the quotes. We can put it inside the quotes. With the double double quotes like this, if you put single quotes, you're going to have to do more work and put, uh, put a dot, close your quote, Put a dot, land, dot, and it's just very cumbersome. So, so this actually makes it a bit easier if you just say, okay, the the password length is uh, whatever this password two, four, six, seven. So it's going to result in seven. Next, we have changing string case. Okay, there are times when you want to change your string case, especially, especially. When you're trying to load a value in a database with in a certain a certain way, uh, some people type in their information, 
cap in all caps, some people type in all lowercase, some people type in their information in, in some weird way. So want to streamline it. So FCR2 upper makes a lowercase into all caps. FCR2 lower makes this weird, like a lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, or in some weird way, we want to make this into all lowercase. And in our example, we have the two used together. And then proper takes the, uh, like, surely in our example, and makes the first letter capitalized to make it proper name. Sometimes you need to use two. Like, let's say you have somebody who goes to your website and types in uh, Shirley with a capital Y, and they type various characters just weird. And so you want to make some sense of it. Make it. So there are times when you want to convert a, a weird entry into something that looks better, like having a, a, a title, uh, having a, having a normal title. So we have uppercase, uppercase. If you look at the website, Lobacom services down, uh, linked in the, in the description below, you'll see these examples in action. We have a proper case, we have a t title case. First we convert this into the title. To make this into a title case, actually a normal one, we convert first to lowercase, and then capitalize the first letter. So then we have a title. So then we're taking our, first we convert it all to a lowercase, and then we convert the first letter to being a proper, proper noun. And that's what we're spitting out. This is really cool. The sub substring and the str position. Okay, if you like the mid function, you'll like this. It's, it comes in handy. Oh, it comes in handy. Our text is value with the asterisk. Okay, if you want to, a lot of times you want to figure out. Well, the first part of the string and the last part of the string. It analyze the first part of the string and add the last part of the string in order to import it into a database. So you're going to have to extract the first part of the last part when you use the substring by doing that for that purpose. We have a text, and then we have the value, and then we have part. Okay, substring says that text that we're doing. We want to take out this. We want to start at the zero because this is a uh, PSP is zero base. So zero, the first letter is zero, and then just get a look at the first character. They go over one, so we have zero. We start at, and then we go over one, and then we get the asterisk here. And the first character is we're echoing this out. What's the part? Okay, what's the asterisk? Now, the next is check delete the last character string. Then we can go ahead and, like in this regard, we can say, okay, we'll take off, start from the second, zero, one. Uh, we could have a mid, a mid function, or substring. Substring, the text start at one, and then you don't, the, the second part is optional. And I say the part is after, and anything after the comma is optional. Check, delete the last character of the string. Okay, well, same, same applies here. We have value with the dash. And then we have a the part, substring, text, minus one. Okay, it takes from the end, and where the minus means take it from the end, start at the end, and subtract one. So it gets the last part of the string, the little dash. Okay, this is the very common occurrence with their, uh, with trying to load, load items into, or parsing out a name. Okay, some of you may get a list of names, and 
here you get a list of names and then you get a list of names and you want to just you want to parse it out first name middle name last name okay so the first we want to we use the str position to find the, where the space is so here mary mary tyler moore we have this the space here and we have a space here we have two spaces actually so we want to get the first space so we start at the first str position uh what the name we're looking at and then the blank where the first blank is and then we're going to echo our position of the first blank now we have uh, position two, we want to find the second blank. So we're looking at the first first blank, the blank. We're lo looking in the string for our first blank. We want to find the first position of the blank, but advance one so we don't get the same one. We want to advance and get the second blank. And then we go ahead and echo that out. Now the part is going to be the, the place after the second blank. The last name is going to be the, the 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 name after the second blank. The last name is the part. Maybe this variable needs to be, uh, and all variables need to be put with the with the uh, with the dollar sign in front of it. Maybe that variable would be better named last name, but I put it part here for some reason I don't, I don't know about, but. And then we have this replace characters with the with the S year replace uh, text Mr. Big uh, and this hinders you quite a bit whenever you're trying to insert this into into a database these apostrophes okay that's a no no because it, it says well you have two two different values here these are normally used as delimiters so what you can do is just take these off take the apostrophe off and substitute it with a like a dash and then whenever you whenever you send it to the screen again you take the dash out and replace it with an apostrophe so it, you're kind of displaying it one way inserting it in another way and you do it with the s your replace function all right and so last we're talking about is the number calculation and so here we have we have some numbers the price is 399 the tax rate is this we want to find out what the tax is so we're, these are the variables again pref prefix with the dollar sign this times this the price of the tax rate it gives us the total tax and tax amount the amount of tax we have to pay based on the uh, 8.25 percent tax rate and then the we're going to number format to make it look pretty and to make it because i think this has like four that's four places after the decimal place and so we don't want that we just want two so and then we're going to format it real nice uh, the tax rate on the price is this amount of tax. Now we're going to add that to the tax to the actual price. And so we have this total variable equals to price plus, and you remember your order operations, what's that parenthesis is, 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 your, is your number here. So price times tax rate okay it did turn black that's good so we have price times tax rate price plus whatever that is whatever that number is and then note in a word of note here tax rate i'm going back up here and getting the raw i'm calculating to buy the raw tax rate i'm not calculated by tax which is the formatted because i get the wrong answer because it's a totally different number and so PHP does something with number and just really messes it up. So I have to go back to the, I always want to calculate by the raw number here. And so that's a, that's a trick. And then the format, the, the result, your, or 
insert the result before you format it. So whatever's displayed, I want to format it. So I want to format it as being. I can insert raw values. I don't want to display the raw value. I want to format it first. And your total width tax is dollar show total. And that's all, folks. Uh, we're going to have another video where we're going to have a little more practical application with this. And hopefully you got value from this. And you'll subscribe to this channel and like this video. And I will talk to you soon. Leave your comment down there below. And come on out to Lobocop Services. The link in the description below for this wonderful code and some working examples. Let me show you. Bye-bye. Click in the description below for a great resource. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share the video with someone else who you think needs it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment below. Share any questions you have about the video in the comments below.